Sometime in the future, you're gonna to begin to hear uh, something called Newington, New Hampshire, which is where we are in this factory. And you don't have to walk around for very long to understand that Sig Sauer is fully committed to making these incredibly high quality guns in an American factory with the most sophisticated machinery and the greatest employees. Virtually the entire Sig Sauer product line is made here and a couple of product lines that are remaining uh, in Germany will be transitioning to America within the year. So we're very excited about that and, and as you can see this 200 plus thousand square foot facility is geared up to make high quality American made guns for a very long time for this extremely proud brand called Sig Sauer. So the MCX, it's no secret now, was a, a government tender that we were working on. Basically what we did is we took our 516 platform and said, what is it we need to do in order to meet the specifications of the request? So we left the AR feel and controls, but we basically strengthened the upper receiver so it could become a 50,000 round gun. I'm here with Adam Johnson. Adam's the assistant rifle product manager here at SIG. And we're looking at the MCX. Now, this is a really interesting sort of AR derivative rifle that is multi-caliber configurable. Adam, tell us a little about the MCX and what makes it so special. Yeah, I mean, you nailed it right there. Multi-caliber was kind of the objective. Um, 5.56, 300 blackout, um, soon to be 7.62 by 39. Okay. User changeable barrels. You don't need a big barrel nut tool to remove it. It's just two screws under the handguard. You take them out, they're captive, so you're not going to lose them. Okay. And you can pull your barrel out, pull your new blackout one on. You don't have to change the bolt unless you're going to 7.62 by 39. Right. Because the bolt is this AR bolt, essentially, there was no lockup issues. It wasn't the same kind of challenge as an MPX. But the gas system in that gun has been the challenge to make sure it works suppressed, unsuppressed with all these different variants. So finding the optimal position on the barrel, as well as to be able to run short barrels, long barrels, and all that type of thing. Tell me a little bit about what, you know, what is and what isn't compatible with a traditional AR, and where were the points that you guys sort of enhance the durability of the AR in order to make the MCX? Yep, so as far as the lower receiver goes, 99% of the parts are standard AR-15 components that okay. you can use in your lower receiver. The only thing different is the oversized magazine release button. Mm -hmm. A little bit bigger, a little bit more real estate. Right. Other than that, the function is the same, and most of the parts of that catch are the same. Aside from being proprietary lower with the AR parts, uh, you can put the upper receiver on a standard okay. AR lower with right. a conversion kit. Uh huh. And then speaking of the upper, we have some reinforcement areas that we put on um, based on contract requirements okay. uh, that were set by the initial customer. Um, those components are the cam path insert here, steel insert with two screws. That insert kind of protects the upper receiver from the cam pin itself grinding on the aluminum. So, and then right here, you kind of see we have a feed ramp insert underneath the barrel extension. Right. So you have full 100% steel feed, uh, feed ramps underneath the extension there. Okay. Um, and then lastly, right here you can see two pins for the ambidextrous charging handle. Right. Um, so your latches aren't latching onto aluminum anymore. Awesome, you know, yeah. I've shot them enough where the charging handle starts to bump me in the nose. Right. Not gonna happen anymore because it's still reinforced there. Right, so exactly. So those are three main points. Really, we wanted the upper receiver to last as long as your lower receiver does. Right. So now it's going to. Okay. The gun you have sitting at home, if you wanted to upgrade it to what could be newer technology, you can drop on an MCX you have the ability to change out barrels, which are quick change barrels. You can change hand guards for overmount suppressor or thin. You can now change also your stock and making a folding stock. We have five different options of stock that you can put on this rifle. Now all these enhancements, all these upgrades you're talking about really speak to the fact that SIG has a lot of military and LE yep. customer base. Yep. And those, those are things that are trickling down the consumer in this rifle. Absolutely, yeah, this, this was 100% um, military contract okay. uh, specific. Um, once we submitted for that, we started developing the commercial variant of it. Well, Adam, thanks very much, and uh, let's let's take a look and see how the guns shoot. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Want to know what's happening at American Rifleman? Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll be right back. We're back with Adam Johnson. Adam, you're going to show us how the MCX, which is actually pretty similar internally to the MPX, breaks down and kind of what's going on inside the gun. Absolutely, yeah. We'll show you the internals, get into the operating system, show you a barrel change. Okay. And it's really easy, so let's get into it. So first thing I'll do is I'll take off the silencer here, then we'll pop out that front pivot pin here, and then go ahead and slide that handguard off. Okay, from here we're just going to take the upper right off the lower receiver, set that lower aside. Next thing we're going to do, 
just like a standard AR-15. Mm -hmm. Take, loosen up that charging handle, then you can slide out the bull carrier assembly. Mm -hmm. So there we got there. Okay. Then just like taking out our uh, regular charging handle, it's got those two notches. Right. So now we have the uh, barreled receiver assembly here. Remove these torque screws. And these screws are captive, so I could loosen these all day long, they're not gonna come out. Okay. Now you can just go ahead and pull this barrel right out, hmm. just like that. You've got barrel changeability, which allows for multiple caliber capability. Absolutely. Uh, your, your gas assembly, gas block, gas piston are staying with the barrel. Yep. And in here, as you said, you've got a, it's basically an AR bolt carrier, AR bolt head, yep. uh, but you're also, uh, system of recoil management is two guide rods and twin right. recoil springs yeah. above the bolt. Yeah, we basically took so. the standard recoil system in AR, okay. shrug it down in size, put it on top of the carrier, and we just call this the carriage assembly now. And again, I just want to be clear for guys that, that have an AR lower, a standard lower, will accept the SIG upper. Right, yeah, you can put the MCX upper on a legacy AR-15 okay. uh, lower receiver. We're going to be offering a um, lower receiver conversion kit, which is basically going to replace your buffer extension tube right. with a M1913 Picatinny rail back for okay. your AR lower. Yeah. Then you can drop on your MCX upper and all that modularity you get with the MCX, you'll then be able to get with your AR-15. And so. even though this is the MCX, really the principles of how this is laid out are similar to the M MPX. Yep, big brother, little brother. Yeah. Um, everything we just did with the MCX, you're going to repeat the same thing from okay. the MPX. The MPX, what we wanted to do is we wanted to take and basically bring back the MP5. We looked at what that design was and we went through a feature list and said, how can we make it a more modern, updated design? So we looked at like a locking, rotating bolt. We looked at interchangeable barrels. We looked at those types of things that would upgrade that and make it more of a new product uh, for the market to accept. So the recoil springs, the action springs are in the upper receiver as opposed to an extension tube that lengthen out the gun. So it makes it nice, compact size, easy to, easy to maneuver, and the magazine proprietary. So when you talk about um, an MPX, people always say nine millimeter, what does that mean? What do you use for a mag? It is a mag that we designed around that gun. If you look at any of the guns we've developed for rifles in the last five years, we always start off with the full auto. We always start off with the law enforcement military version. When you're talking about doing a multiple thousand round test um, and making sure the cyclic rate and the gun is functioning and all the ammo compatibility that we do, we always start off a full auto and we turn it down, tune it down to make it a civilian version uh, that can sell in the commercial market. The models we're offering right now is we're offering an eight inch pistol with no brace. We offer what we're saying is the PSB variant, which would be the eight inch gun with the brace. Then we're doing eight inch SBRs and then we're doing a 16 inch with a telescopic stock on it.